Hello YouTube, welcome to December 2023. So I just want to have a bit of a chat around uh, my four favorite knives of 2023, why I hung on to them, why I carry them daily, why I enjoy them and the things I like about them, um, including maybe some of the caveats that I found with them and the things I don't necessarily like. But these four that you're seeing here are the four favorite knives of mine for 2023 um, this is the closing maybe I may get one or two more before the end of the year I don't know but right now as it stands these four are my favorite now the four in question the petrified fish beluga absolutely love this knife love the shape love the style love the size I'm a big knife kind of guy so I really enjoy this knife. I enjoy carrying this knife. It's a neat pocket carry. Very comfortable and very sharp. K110, which I believe is similar to a D2. So it's got pretty decent head retention. And I really like the fact that I can spidey flick. I can thumb flick, no issue at all. Using this bit of a swedge that they've got here. And of course they do have their flipper there. A little bit weird for me, but it does get the job done. So for me, it's usually a thumb flick. And I'm getting to work at whatever I'm cutting. The next one, the CRKT. This is the CRKT M2104G, I believe it is. This is an HCR13 blade, but a really cool blade for um, getting shit done. I like it. Um, it's a big knife as well as you can see it's got quite a large handle the blade size itself is probably a little bit longer than the nah, they're about the same more or less a little bit more cutting edge slightly more but um, a really cool knife I like the blackout on this the reason I like this one so much is I've always been a fan of CRKT this one's just got some really nice fit and finish and I like the blackout it hides well uh, easy to EDC carry considering it's such a large blade for me not really a working knife more of a self-defense knife I like it I've carried it pretty often and I've enjoyed using it this guy here this is the pickled steel destroyer it's quite a new one for me um, for a large knife it carries pretty well um, this handle is very unique and I've also found this to be a really practical slashing knife in a self-defense situation but it's large and thick enough to also be a practical working knife D2 stone wash you'll notice I like either the black or the stone wash finishes because they don't show up fingerprints too easily this is a really cool knife it has a couple of caveats things I don't like about it which I will talk about in a little while, but um, it is a really cool knife for the price point. We're talking sub a thousand rand, and you get yourself one of these. You can thumb flick it as well. You can flipper it, or you can, when you can get it past the detent, you can spidey flick it. Sorry, this one's not as loose as the others, but definitely an all around cool knife, and I like the color. Last, and probably one of my favorites of this year has to be this bad boy this thing is a monster um, it's a thick chunk of steel it's heavy it's got really cool grip on it and it's more of a cleaver but a very practical working cleaver again my favorite stone wash finish um, you do get a piece that you can screw in yet to lock double lock this thing meaning that it's not easily going to fold on you if you're using it for anything heavy a really really sturdy pocket clip um, all around a really nice pocket folder I battle to get that detent open to thumb flick it and I'm not even going to try and spidey flick it because it's tight but the flipper itself gets the job done I love it it's been one of my favorites in fact it's left me and it's actually come back to me and I still feel it to be one of my favorites now just some caveats things I don't like about these four knives which we're going to talk about now this one here 
I don't like this flipper. Some people like that style. You can get by on it. It definitely works. But it's a bit hit and miss for me. Maybe I just need to practice it more. I don't know. But thumb flick, still fantastic. Everything else about this knife, great. I love it. I love the pocket clip because it slides in. It's got no protruding little mushrooms to hang it up on your jeans. Uh, I really like this what's this like a fake denim macarts or whatever it is and i really really love this blade shape i i like this large sweeping belly for slicing whatever you need to do um this is a, a really fantastic knife and it's been a surprise for me this one because it wasn't even an expensive knife again the only thing i don't like about this one is that flipping mechanism not my style that's just the only negative i have about this one the CRKT, the only negative I have about it, it's not really a negative, depending on your point of view, is this double lock, where you've got to unlock there, and then you can unlock there, and you can put it away. Um, I like it though, it's still a one of my favorites. A bit of practice, you would be able to thumb flick it from there, probably spidey flick it as well, but it's a bit heavy. Um, all in all, still a cool knife, I like it. That's pretty much the only negative of that one. This guy here, this thing is a beast for the price and the money you spend on it. But the only caveat I have is this is this here, this jumping. It is incredibly sharp, as in it's actually cut me before. So I would file that a little bit or sand that down a little bit just to get rid of that extreme edge. Like these are nice. These are not bitey at all. These here bite you pretty hard because of that 90 degree edge on them. Um, you can actually see it if you get in close. Not ideal. That's pretty much my negative on that. Um, I have no other negatives on this knife. I like the style. The reason why it's shaped like that is really good for getting down and slicing. It's really cool. I like it. Um, no other issues. Just this sharp bits over here for me anyway then this bad boy comes very tight maybe loosening it up may work i oh, look at that that's the first time i've actually thumb flicked it easily um maybe it'll loosen up over time i don't know time will tell i guess but um the flipper itself really cool the only thing i don't like about this is it's incredibly heavy in the pocket um it's extremely heavy knife. It's solid, a big chunk of steel, as you can see by my thumb over there. It's a monster. I mean, thumb, the studs are almost thumb width. That tells you how thick this thing is. Um, but besides that, it's an all-around great knife. I like it. These are my four favorites, guys. I hope you garner some insights around them. Um, ah, one more thing. Fantastic pocket clip really cool pocket clip does get a bit loose pretty easily though but it doesn't bend um this one here also nice because they haven't put this cut out on the edge where it's bent and this one here same story nice thick and solid so no issues at all um yeah i enjoy them all guys i hope you enjoy these knives let me know your comments if you guys can think of any other knives based of these that you think i may enjoy and uh, i look forward to seeing you all in 2024 cheers for now